unto my feet and the light unto my path. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Sing that with me one more time. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Guys, see that red sheet of paper? Whatever you do, I don't want you to step on it. Just don't step on it. Oh, you didn't hear what she said, but she said, now I'm tempted to step on it. That is the way some rules work, isn't it? Whatever you do, just don't do, you can do anything else, just don't step on that. Huh? She does have nice boots, you're right. So, God puts the man in the garden, it's a great place to be. Man's got all kinds of things to do and stay busy. All kinds of neat things to get into. And God gives the man just one rule. One rule only. Only one rule. Don't eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Don't eat from that tree. You can do anything else. You can do all kinds of other things. Just don't step on that. Just don't eat from that tree. You think he wondered a little bit? Yeah. And then along comes this talking snake, which seems kind of weird. You guys probably know this story. Talking snake is talking to the woman and the man, because they're together. Tells them, you know, that won't kill you. You eat that, you're going to be like God. Hey, don't you think it's good to be like God? Yeah. Aren't we supposed to become more like God? Right. And by the way, it looks really good. It probably tastes great too. And you know what they did? They stepped on the red paper. No, they ate from that tree. And everything that was good, they lost. You'd think it'd be simple enough to follow just one rule. Yeah. Yes. But if all you had in your house was one rule, you still might be tempted no. to break it. Not you. You're better than me. Because even if I just had one rule, I'd be thinking about, wonder if I could get away with that. <laughs> well, will you guys say a prayer with me? Let's pray together. Dear God, we thank you for your word. We pray you help us follow it. Amen. Don't get up yet. I have a couple things I want you to see today. You won't have time before you go to your class, but there is a table here with some neat Bibles on it. Some of them are in other languages. There's a Bible in Welsh and in Norwegian that, that are in families connected to the church. Um, there are also the languages in which the Bible was originally written. We have that there. And some other really neat old Bibles and one of them is open. The one that's open laying there, we're not, we're not supposed to touch, but you can see what, what was written by a mother to her son inside that Bible. So it's really cool. So I want to make certain before you guys go today, you get a chance to take a look at that. Oh, I, I will be reading it. I will be reading it. So the, um, yeah, I was going to read it in my message. I'll read it again in my message. I'll read it twice today. It's worth reading twice. Um, every week during Lent, and this is the first Sunday in Lent, every week during Lent, we're going to have something different on that table. So each week when you come, you've got to pay attention. Stop there, take a look, see what's there, because it all has to do with some of the themes of the day. And today's theme is Word. Okay? So we have some handouts for you. Um, Megan, would you get the, the worksheets? But, and, but before you, they receive the worksheets, let's, don't walk out yet. I'm going to read this to you. I'm going to read this to you. Okay, right here. Yeah, it says do not touch. But 
This part right here was written by a mother to her son. I'm going to read that to you. It says, the best heritage I can leave you is the Bible, God's word. It will guide you into all good in your life. When in trouble, come back to it, and it will help you and keep and teach you what is good for you. It will teach you in the way you should go. Believe in me, and you will meet me in heaven. Believe in it, and you will meet me in heaven at the last day, mother. Yes, you can touch all the other ones. Okay? All right? And this one is really old. This one is from the 1800s. This little one was mine when I was in high school. How about that? What's that? Well, I, I, I was underlining and making notes in it. So you can look at those things I did. Okay? So you guys can stop and do that at the end of the service today. And you've got worksheets and you can head off to your class. Okay? Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate it.